Mike Shank, people, what's poppin', man? This is Willie coming at y'all with another episode of Willie's Shoe Chronicles. So just in case y'all ain't know, for the YouTube family, it's why not underscore 04. Instagram, DJ why not underscore 04. Facebook, DJ why not, my bad. And uh, Willie Cuffy as well, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can look me up on the social media platforms or whatnot. Today is March 12th, 2019. You dig, I believe next week is the first day of spring. So we kicking it off like that. So this week, I got two shoes for y'all, you dig? Uh, the last video I did was the Dornbecker 6. So if y'all ain't checked that out, go check out the Dornbecker 6. My review and my thoughts and, and whatnot with it. Uh, I believe I did that video like last week, you dig? So uh, yeah, man, like I said, man, next week is spring. The sun is out today. We still got the snow, but I figured another week or two, man, get the snow out of here, man. Get ready for the new season and stuff, you dig? Um, once again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, Willie Shoe Chronicles. I have episode in rotation. It's going to have some guests. And we rocking like that, you dig? Trying to get my follow game up on this YouTube thing. This all for fun entertainment, as I said. So, on that note, we're going to get right to the first sneaker, you dig? First sneaker off the rip. Boom. Y'all see it. The classic check. Nike Air Max 1s right here, you dig? Uh, how I cop these in the background with these Let me just say a big, big shout out to my man Dave Man, my man Dave put me on to the spot Where I found these at So, um, me and Dave, you know what I mean We talk about kicks and whatnot He hits me up when he know about releases My opinions and vice versa So he told me about this outlet, this Nike outlet I never been there He said, yo, listen, this joint got some heat And um, the deals is, is, is dope The numbers is love it's a Nike clearance outlet. Now, you know what I'm saying? At first, I was contemplating, should I let people know where and whatnot in the front? But I'm going to let y'all know, man. It's um Nike outlet. It's a clearance outlet in Queens, New York. They got fire. And when I say fire, to me, is sneakers that a lot of people ain't thinking about, they ain't got, and you can get them for good numbers. I call it cheap heat. As you see here, the Air Max 1s, man. So uh, back to my man Dave. He told me about the spot. He said, yo, I'm going on this day, this day and whatnot. So he hit me up and made it work. His cousin drove out there. I forgot his cousin's name, man. Shout out to his cousin. His cousin drove out there. Just hit him with some gas. His cousin was a cool dude, humble dude. You know what I'm saying? The ride wasn't like awkward or nothing. You know what I mean? So it was, um, it was a good time. You know what I mean? I, the three of us talk about sneakers, old and new, what we think about. So it was dope. Anybody that's into sneakers and that been to places with their boys to go get sneakers, they know what I'm talking about. So we went to the spot, the Nike Clans joint in, um, in Queens, New York. Went there, shopping around and whatnot, and I stumbled upon these. I don't know if I seen these or Dave seen these, but Dave now wears size 12, and he kind of know my style a little bit. Um, he did see some, I don't know if he saw these or some other ones, but he did hold me down with some other ones I found. Anyways, as y'all see here, man, I'm going to put one shoe down. As y'all see here, these are Air Max 1s. These is fire. Um... Navy blue, red and yellow. I don't have many navy blue kicks, so this was an automatic. Air Max 1s look hot with shorts, sweatpants, jeans, cargo pants. They just they just fire. It's a simple shoe, but it's, it's neat. It's a clean shoe. As you see the red check, uh, the thing that's different about these sneakers, um, this is not an official collab, but, you know, the streets and people that know calling these the... Uh, the Snow Beach Air Max 1s. And Nike clearly got the inspiration from Snow Beach, you dig? But they, they didn't officially call it that. Damn, I still got dust on these. They didn't officially call it that. So hopefully hopefully y'all can see. This is navy blue, obviously, but this is leather. This is like soft leather right here. But um, the leather goes all the way to here, right? But up here, it's like mesh. I get the feel when I see this. The material and the color, I get like a Nautica Tommy feel and a Snow Beach feel, exactly. Uh, the tongue is mesh. The check is leather. The yellow is mesh. Back here is a dead giveaway. They paying homage to Snow Beach and that type of, you know what I'm saying, that type of lane. The original um, Air Max 1s, they really don't have this, but like I said, that's a dead giveaway. The air bubble is red inside. You know what I'm saying? These is five, man. Size 12. Let me show you the box. Y'all know it's from the Nike outlet. Your box come like this. You dig? 
Nike Air Max One Premium. I think it says premium. All right, yep, premium. Size 12, man. Big shout out to all my size 12s out there, man. It's hard for us, you dig? But shout out to my size 12s, man. The struggle is real, for real. Got these for $69.99, people. And it wasn't even no no 20% off, no friends and family, nothing. Nike's good for that. But these were 60, 60 bucks, you know what I'm saying? $69.99, man. These is fire. I still have yet to wear them. I need me a Snow Beach top, man. Anybody that knows about Snow Beach, Snow Beach is a uh, line... From Polo, you know, Ralph Lauren, my bad, line from Ralph Lauren. And when Snow Beach come out, it sells out instantly, you dig? So I got to get me a Snow Beach top, man. I need about two or three of them. I have yet to wear these. I want to bang these out this year, man. So it's only necessary. So as you see, Air Max 1, got them for that Nike clearance factory outlet. Go check it out, people. Got a lot of cheap heat there. Cheap heat, you dig? All right, the next sneaker I got. For all my ball players out there, y'all gotta y'all gonna love this. All my ball players and people that was living in the 90s and remember, you dig so quit with all the talking. Bang bang. Pennies. Nike. Uh what's the, what's the official name, man? Nike Air Pennies. You dig? These are the penny twos, I believe. If I'm wrong, come at me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I take that serious, but these are Nike Penny 2s, I believe so. Uh, these are brand new. I got these a couple months ago as well. Just to give y'all a quick, quick description. Like I said, cheap heat once again. I want y'all to guess how much I paid for these. I'll give y'all two seconds. Two, one. $49.99. I got these from Marshalls on Boston Road. You know what I mean? The thing about... I don't mind telling y'all where I, where I got some of these shoes from. A lot of it is just, it's just the right timing, man. It's the right timing. You know what I'm saying? When I seen this sneaker in there, it was the only shoe in my size. And um, $49.99, you dig? You cannot go wrong with that. Cheap heat, people. Cheap heat. Um, as y'all see, obviously, Miami colorway. Um, when, when LeBron went to Miami, it really got popping. Nothing against D-Wade. He already had stuff popping, but it got revamped when, when um, Bosch and LeBron went there. So that's when, you know, the clothing line's trying to pump out whatever. And obviously, like I said, the Miami colorway. And um, these is fire, man. I know I'm going to rock these summertime. I'm going to rock in the chilling probably like twice, but then I'm definitely going to ball in these once I get over my um, my um, my leg healing, man. My leg and my knee healing, man. It's been a while. Since I balled, but once I get right, I'm definitely going to ball in these. Quick story, I know they brand new, but like I said, anybody that grew up in the 90s can definitely relate to these. I went to Cleveland um, to see some family. I was like in the, I want to say maybe the 6th or 7th grade, went to Cleveland to see some family. One of my cousins down there, I believe he was like maybe two years older than me. I want to say at the time I was size like 10 or 10 and a half. He... Um, when I went down there, I didn't have no basketball kicks, but I think I did. But I didn't go down and bring in basketball kicks to play ball. I would have played ball and whatever I had on. He had the uh, white, black, and blue ones. He grew out of them. He gave them to me. He gave he gave them um, me those and some jump mans. You know what I mean? They were kind of run down, but shoot, at that age, you, psh, whatever. I went to go ball in them that same day. Matter of fact, he gave them to me to play ball, and we was going to go play ball. He gave me play bowling. Yo, these joints is mad comfortable. And um, just to give y'all a little, little details of them, you know what I'm saying? As you see here, hopefully y'all can see it. It says Zoom Air on the bottom. Now, that's the type of cushion that Nike does. Now, for those of you that don't know, whenever you see this air bubble, that's like a max air cushion, you dig? But they got another cushion set up, like I stated, called Zoom Air. Like it says it there. Yo, Zoom Air... One of the best cushions when it comes to like balling and whatnot, you dig? One of the best, probably the best, my favorite. You know, you got your Adidas boost and all that and the Under Armour stuff. I have yet to ball on some Under Armors, you know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know, but Zoom Air, Zoom Air been around since the 90s. Zoom Air's in the um, Jordan 12s. Zoom Air's in the, um, damn, what else? The Jordan 13s. It just feels great. There's a Zoom Air bag. There's a Zoom Air bag right in here. It doesn't take all the place of where the black is at, the circles, but it's like right here, like big as my hand, you dig? 
And yo, the cushion in the feel is stupid. You know what I mean? So these bring back a lot of memories. A lot of memories, man. $49.99, cheap heat people. You can't go wrong, you dig? So like I said, man, I'm gonna take it back to when, you know, anybody grew up knew when they got a pair of kicks, especially in the 90s, we wanted ball kicks. We would get the kicks to chilling, but slowly but surely, the kicks you had to chilling turned into your ball kicks, you dig? You just couldn't help it. These, I'm gonna rock these a few times, you know what I'm saying? But I know I'm gonna commit that. And commit that in terms means <laughs> you're gonna play ball with them, you dig? So these is dope, these bring back a lot of memories. One of the things I love about reminiscing is through sneakers and music, you know what I'm saying? Sneakers and music, man, I, I feel like I'm right back into that moment, you know what I'm saying? Years ago, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, people, I want to thank y'all for checking this out. I want to wrap this up real quick. Like I said, man, I reviewed Nike Air Penny 2s and the Air Max 1s, Snow Beach Edition, unofficial, you dig? $69.99, $49.99. Even on the um, eBay, StockX, and GOAT, these ain't running for wild bread. Do I want y'all to get them? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, no, nah, I mean, they ain't running for wild bread. These, I think these is running for like a buck something. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, cheap heat, man. These is fire stuff. So I get to wear them. Just wanted to give y'all a quick review on these. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, comment, whatever. Let me know what y'all think. Like, yo, Will, you can do this different. I'm digging this or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And, um, yeah. Like I said, keeping it tried and true for the shoe culture slash community, you dig? And uh, until next time, y'all, stay up. Embrace next week for spring. And I'm going to be back at y'all with another video next week, all right? All right, peace.